I think we're on. Does Ethel want to say hello? You know how heavy she is. Crying yeah, I told out. you, 28 stone. One, two, three. Hello, Eccles. Kissy, kissy. Stop that. Uh, All right. Now, yeah. really heavy. I don't, think, I don't think she enjoys that anymore. Uh, well, it was when she was like, you know, where I could just pick up with one hand and then, no. Anyway, <laughs> we've had a lovely, peaceful evening. Here. There were bats. There were bats here. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Tweet, tweet. Dog tweet, walk tweet. is at uh, half past ten. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But she had a lovely dog. Anyway, what we're planning on doing today is we're only a couple of hours away from the marina. And we're going to do a pit stop. Yeah, we need to do a little bit of a pit stop. And we may be going straight out again, we may not. The problem is, it's Tuesday. We left on Saturday. And it was beautiful. It was red hot and there wasn't a breath of wind. And since then, it's either been blowing a gale or chucking it down with rain. Now, blowing a gale, yeah, it's all right. We're all right here. But we're on the, we're on the route of the Four Counties Ring. And unfortunately, I'm not being critical of higher boaters. But if they miss a day out because of the wind, they'll be trying to catch up. We have got a green stripe down the side. Go faster stripe. I keep a go faster you. stripe off a stone higher boat. Yeah, thank you for that. It so it, it's, nice it's not just a case of, well, sit it out. Because in any minute now, they'll be up and down here like nobody's business, out you know, of control. What, what I can't understand, and maybe I'm just being thick, but yesterday you'd have no boats for hours, but then when we did have boats, when I say they were about to stern, I mean literally. They were like literally, at one point, one boat, well, quite a few of the boats, they were like 10 feet off. Anyway, we're going to attempt to try and get back to the marina. I mean, if it gets to... Uh -oh. See, that's our biggest problem. The canopy keeps blowing up. Anyway, we're going to attempt it. It's I'm not, did anybody tell you? I'm not very well. Right, we've set off. It's a bit gusty, but it's going to rain in a couple of hours. So, wish us luck. I'm not really needed in this shot, I'm... No, I'll, I'll cut it off then. Absolutely. On one of my gentle strolls, <laughs> you probably can't see it now. The village down there behind yeah. them trees. Well, you can see the castle type building. That's where we went. It was a lovely woodland walk. In fact, I'm going to see if I can put that picture you took of me. Well, I got a, a grey t shirt on, but it came out green. I'm, 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 going, to have to, I'm going to have to concentrate yeah, because concentrate. this is where we were moored. Where we kept on being yeah, sideswiped. No, side anyway. So there's two boats here, and I don't want to yeah. <laughs> recreate the sideswipation. Oh, I'm, I'm going. It's Bridge 12, and everybody by now knows what I think about Bridge 12 on the Middle Witch. Never mind. It's your hard work. Horn's working, but not as good as this one. I think it's in here, so it's not stop the noise. It's horrible. It should be alright once we get under this bridge, because it's a lot more sheltered for most of the trip back. Yeah. 
That was me. Well, sure, even if there is someone now, we're there. I don't understand how we were getting hit where we were. Well, they were coming past this tree. I... The boat's coming this way. I'm going to say use your error. Right, I'm going to have to do a quick tuck in. We will hit, I reckon. If you can just tuck into Carl's How far off am I your side? Half a metre. Oh, that's alright then. Half a metre. Third metre. Ten centimetres. Five Should be getting further away from it now. Right, and relax. We're just approaching the bridge, it's not a bridge. Two boats have just passed us. <laughs> it could have been worse. Tom's jumped off for some reason because last time he did that, he went, he, he got in conversation with the boat that was coming the other way, but failed to tell either of us that there was a boat coming. So we're going to see. If we can get through here without without ripping the sides, we might be able to scrape off that lime green boat from the stone boat eye. That would be fun. Well, I think that's the first time we've ever done that. I won. I should have brought my camera. That would have been a lovely shot. Yeah, I know. It's there. I was more worried about oh, shouting at you. We're not through yet. There's me saying we've done it without hitting. Well, you haven't hit on this side yet. No, but this is the bit that sticks out. You, and you haven't hit it? Bloody hell. <laughs> Praise <laughs> me. No. Oh. Or, or any other no, fictitious no, god. We don't do religion. That's why I said any other Close fictitious god. Let's just let's just uh, mention this. Huh? What's Tom has got the most exotic collection of old man photographs you'll ever find in anywhere in the world. I'm guessing. That sounds really weird. You can't from, that from the from the neck up. He he keeps. I'll be lying in bed. I took one and all of a sudden, body, didn't it, that time? Flash. What, what the? What the? I think. I think he's planning my funeral, and he's going to have a slide display projector on the wall. No, no. The actual coffin is going to be lots of pictures of you all the way around. Well, it could be made of pictures you've taken. Them many. It's very worrying. <laughs> it's funny. It's like they're sat just, just reading a book or watching the TV and then all of a sudden I'll go I mean I know you like older men but there's older men and older no, 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 men No, 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 I like irritating you Oh, that's what it is It's not about the photograph, that's just a tool to annoy you I'm reminding me of business like just and the, the <laughs> But it winds you up, so it's funny well, I hope your battery goes flat well, we just got to the lock and someone's coming out of it which should be good news but the last time that happened to us here they, uh, they saw me approaching and Tom was there with his windlass and they shut the gates and refused to leave them open for me to go in so there could be lots of cursing swearing and a bit of blood no I think I think they've got the message Right, we seem to be out of the wind. That, 
nice couple have left the gates open for us. Should be in there. Too sweet. Oh god. See where the bar wash was then, it's hidden behind a bush. Oh, it didn't take the camera. Yeah. Woo. On the boat now. On the boat. On the boat, darling. Uh, get on. Ethel. Ethel. That's the one and only lock of the day done. Should be back at our marina in about 20 minutes. And then we can try and get in our berth sideways.
Right, that was the last. I can't call it a used to be a bridge because it's actually a bridge. And I think, can I say, I think we've been really sensible on this little cruise. Why? But don't tickle me whatever you do. Because I think we are. I was about to tickle you. I know you were about to tickle me, that's why I said don't. But now it's like that like five year old don't press the button. Oh, I know. Anyway, don't. I'll jump in. Can you tell them, actually? A few years ago, actually, no, I don't think I can tell this story. We were driving on a private land, obviously. You mean all that roundabout in the middle of Newcastle? Yeah, yeah it's private land, but anyway, yeah, yeah. And a spider had sailed from the windscreen, it, from the... It was a killer spider. Yeah. It was about half an inch and across. And what did you say? We're all going to die. And you tried to jump out the car, I had to pull While it in. was still moving. Yeah. Well, it was well, private land, so it's okay. It, it was on the dual carriageway. Yeah, yeah, private land, private land. Definitely. Anyway, it was, it a, was a killer spider. It was a long, long time ago. Yeah. It was in the days when you had to have a horse walking in front of your car. So. About 2005. Oh. It's about to, it's, they'd abandoned the horse thing. <laughs> mind you, realised mind you, no, 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 saying that, Newcastle, work. you never know. No, I mean, that's true. I mean, By the way, if there's any Geordies watching, we're no, not on not about York. Newcastle, Newcastle, Newcastle under Newcastle. Lyme. We're on home about of the, the home real of the Newcastle yeah. under Lyme. Yeah, the home. The of the home dusteds. And, and Wally's, Wally, well, the, Wally's Quarry, the, big, the yeah, big stink. But, but what was quite funny was, right, recently, they were making it, because uh, of the local elections, they had quite a few um, BBC and ITV and other news were in Newcastle. And they were going around talking to everyone. I think they were quite scared. It scares me. I don't go there. The can't. last time we went there, he was in the bank house with the dog and there was a man with a knife, half naked man with a knife running around. Oh, I missed that. You well, didn't. Was he fit? Oh. No, he, yeah. he, he weren't fit at all. Oh, it's, gone in, it's gone in there and out there. No, oh, no it was horrendous. It's a oh, nice colour boat. I don't, I don't know. It was horrible. But we're nearly done and we've been mostly sensible because we can be sensible if we try. We just don't try very hard. Anyway, we're nearly back. And we're back. We're back in the room. 